something <laughs> happens. Can you imagine a world just smart people though? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, it's like you know how boring it would be. Yeah, it'd be hella boring. No. What's going on? You tuned in with the freshest crew for another episode of the All Points Podcast. This is Sam, aka Sly Sama. This is Kyle. It's Midwest. And A2. And uh, yeah, man. It's nice to see you all again. Oh. I feel at this point that I'm less of a part of the show and more just a recurring character. Uh, <laughs> but you still get to introduce. You know, life gets in the way. Yeah. I'm just I'm just a guest star, bro. You're like a the next door neighbor on a sitcom. You're not in you're every like, episode. Go home, Roger. <laughs> but you're there. Exactly. So I mean, it feels good yeah. to be included though, right? Well, you I know. don't know nothing about that, but yeah. oh. as soon as you're on the couch, you know you ain't no slouch. <laughs> Dang, these headphones are going out, y'all. Uh, Your headphones they, are going done. out? Yep. How yeah. long you had them? Since the start of this show. Wait, Wait. did you buy them specifically for the show? Yeah. Yep. Man, I crazy. bought them for the show. That's crazy. Those headphones have been here for more episodes than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've been consistent. That's crazy. Well, I mean. R.I.P. to so <laughs> those task cams. <laughs> Just get a picture of task cams on a headstone. <laughs> 2018 to oh, 2022. Right. Nah, we need to we need to get them and put them on a shirt back there. No. You know, in the cloud. Hang them up. Yeah. yeah. The whole task can might send me a new pair. Like, they're not supposed to last that long. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> they want to study it, right? It's like send those to us. Please. <laughs> uh, so how y'all doing? How's how's the week been? Man, it is flying. I don't know. It really is. is. Yeah, it's zooming. Man. You think it's the cold weather? It's no. making it go by fast. No, it, nah. that, it's just pissing me off. That's what it's doing. <laughs> like you're just waiting for the weekend. I'm yeah. just waiting for there to be some kind of frozen precipitation on the ground so I can see Alex's snap of man. I'm getting tired of this fucking snow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I gotta load it up ready. I look forward to that every winter. <laughs> and then of course I steal it immediately after. I mean it's fine. I, immediately, you know. I, uh, and it comes on. Hey, don't bump your knee against October's my October's very own. <laughs> Who could that be? The zone. No. Dang, it is Adam October. Jonathan ain't it? the Great. Welcome in, man. You made it to the first half instead of the second. Right? No are you technically older than Drake? No. I don't know. Because if you are, you can technically claim him over him. Yeah. I don't know his birthday. Um, it's October song. He, he legally has to give you the entire brand mm-hmm. at that point. <laughs> Oh, OVO yeah. is yours now. No. You get all the sales from those little owl hoodies. No, he's tainted it all right, <laughs> with his hootie patootiness. Um, I'm a good Christian man, and I would never. No, never what? Sure, Pure sure. Hootie patootie. Ah, okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. About a. Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it's like it's like it's been like 60 degrees 50 degrees and Ugh. this saturday's or friday is supposed to be like 82 ah, man. Yeah, 80s for the next three days yeah, ah, man, crazy. perfect yesterday it was 30 yeah uh, that shit was garbage i was out on the tarmac at least <laughs> for like 30 minutes yesterday i'm just mm-hmm. like fuck this shit i don't know how anybody can like be happy about cold weather it didn't really it bother me you know. Uh, seeing that I was born in the winter, I but I think I think the, the <laughs> think the thing that makes it bad is the yeah. Kansas wind. Like if it's just cold and no nope. wind, mm-hmm. when it, the wind blows, it's just like, that's why I tell people. <laughs> That's how some that people you would. Oh, follow that up. <laughs> I was waiting for him to start. Like, no, nah, that's why I tell people too. I say like when I'm in like Denver, because our cold is colder than Denver's cold. I believe it. Uh, yeah, because of this that wind that mm-hmm. makes it colder. You don't have that like, one time I was in Denver. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> went to this outdoor event. <laughs> that wasn't me this time. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah. What did yeah. you do in Denver? No, I was just like it can get bitter cold. Mm-hmm. That was a different kind of cold. Who were you in Denver? With? That was bone chilling cold. I mean, this was years ago. <laughs> man. He was with a, he was with a cold hearted person. <laughs> but yes, Alex, I agree with you. We don't yeah. have trees to block it. Yeah, and but they got trees to block it out. No, uh, I see. What see you yeah, I was gonna, you gotta wait for that one. Yeah, that's dumb. Uh, Should stay there. <laughs> besides the weather, what? How else is? I uh, mean. Oh, 
No, I was just saying, don't get me mad at people who um, don't be feeding their kids. Mm. I mean, well, you know, are a little a little late to feeding their kids. What do you mean? Yeah. Both be out that same <laughs> excuse. Oh. Look, Wednesdays is different for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to drive to Derby. Mm -hmm. and then I got to drive to drop some kids off. Mm -hmm. And then I got to go Get pick a pool. kid up. Mm -hmm. And then I got to drive all the way to Bel Air. Was that in your contract when you signed up? What? To go pick up kids? Yeah. Yes. You know what um, you need? Yes. Um, a more van nah. <laughs> oh, I said yeah, a van uh, fucking thing about a van so yeah those. nah I don't get home I get off of work at 3 and I don't get home till damn near 5.30 damn so yeah that's like two hours of yeah, like just driving just driving picking people up that's like the yeah. Kansas City yeah <laughs> that's like, crazy I'm tired when I get home don't you, don't you hate that yeah it's Mondays and Wednesdays so Wednesday mm. so it's stacked for me so it makes honestly sense. whole time I really didn't want to do it today uh, or yesterday I was really trying to get y'all to just do the episode or whatever I was like oh I can't make it and I was sitting at home playing with my dinosaurs y'all was like oh we can reschedule I, I was like fuck <laughs> why did you say that because <laughs> Cause what? I don't know. It's too funny. Man. Cause dinosaurs ain't a good excuse. Nah, not even. <laughs> Need an excuse. I was like, oh. y'all like, we can move the world for you. I was like, come on, man, just do the fucking episode. <laughs> nah, funny. man. Nah, that I was thinking that. <laughs> My bad. Nah, nah, you get. It. <laughs> nah, cause I was just like, dang, we went from doing like forty-eight visits out here a year to fucking ninety-six. I was like, man, that's double. And gas is high. I'm putting all these miles on my car, and I'm just like ripping and running like every time i call my brother he's like hey every time i call every time i'm talking to you in the car driving i was like that's how it is man i gotta drop kids out at practice at the you know where the northwest have any of y'all been to the northwest ymc yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. way out there. it's over there it's way out there that's where mm -hmm. that's where she goes to the east side then <laughs> nobody lives on the east side <laughs> everybody lives on the east side like literally everybody in this room but you yeah yeah <laughs> Because well, he got West lives. in his name. He got a little yeah. yeah, if you want to live in the bougie area, you, you can move I was at to like, bougie. You can move to like from Greenwich Bel -Air. to Andover is bougie. No, he said if you want to be bougie. Yeah, if yeah. you still want to be bougie, you he can move to Bel Air. Nah, no, you just Bel move further west. I want to the, move to Bel Air now. He's going to get the Midwest mansion out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's like, like too close to Park Yeah, City. Kellogg just goes straight to his driveway. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, man. But to answer your question, uh, aside from the weather, it being my last week at this uh, fucking ass job. Which uh, one, the restaurant job yeah, or the yeah, job yeah. you couldn't tell us about? No, nah, the restaurant job. It's not that I couldn't tell you about. It's that Do I they let you eat there? You said what? Do they like let you eat there? You pay for it. Oh, there's yeah. nothing free. It's just only water. Nothing free. They, do they take it out your check, or you just got to pay it? No, you pay it. Right you don't get a discount on. You get to read the books. Some rolls. You get like a small discount. You know, huh? but no, <laughs> I, 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 I don't. I don't have due dates. Hmm? I don't have due dates. <laughs> you get to read the books at yeah, the library. I can check something out. Never know. return it. How, how many can you check out at once though? Uh, I think yeah, as much as I don't read. So you can just you like can steal the whole library. library and never return it. <laughs> <laughs> start your own. Check like out blockbuster. <laughs> <the> ultimate <laughs> blockbuster <laughs> movie. Yeah. You can start your own Amazon right now. Uh, but nah, bro, for it being my last week, it's been a good week so far. Yeah. Uh, Monday morning, keep in mind, it's a morning. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked for four and a half hours, made $152, averages out to like $33.5 an hour. That's what's up. So I was hard. like, that ain't too fucking bad. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't too bad, man. I have a question. What up? <laughs> so if Serena Williams walked into your <laughs> establishment mm -hmm. and ordered some morning... You know, some morning fish. Yeah, would you have recognized her? Sounds like a euphemism. A euphemism. <laughs> and would you have that morning fish? <laughs> right. Would you have recognized her? Here's my question: Did yeah. she go to the East Homegrown or no, the downtown? No, she went to the homegrown? downtown one. No yeah. fucking way. I, 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 was, I was mad. Serena Williams gonna go downtown and nobody knows. I was mad because I was like, I would have recognized her. I just right. got done watching her matches like last month. Well, 100%. she went into the establishment and they noticed her, but they were more like, oh, just just don't pay attention to her. She'll she'll leave you alone. And that's kind of <laughs> what that was. <laughs> and it, it's just that the like, fact. It's like, what's she doing coming through Kansas? Obviously, she flies a lot, but there's well, no way she flew. Been, she drove to reveal her. this to you guys. Me and Serena. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't specify. Uh, the where the other baby oh, girl, I'll whoop your ass right Come on, common was first, then it was Drake, and now it's me. Because anybody that knows me, that's too much woman. Knows for I'm you, a Serena you. fan. And it's true. I hate yeah. it. People I hate try it. to discredit her and say she looks like a man. I thought you said that's she's all cap. Thought you said she's a, you're a Selena fan. 
Dude, it's all. See, you delete my messages. If you would have, if you kept my messages, you know, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in her pudding. Uh, I, I, in the song, I named all my crushes because, you know, that was all There's about. Keisha, Tisha, no. Naya, blah, 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 blah. About yeah. three Kims. Yeah, you know, it was Left Eye. It was Selena. It was Serena. It was Aaliyah. It was Tina. <laughs> oh, that got to laugh. Okay. It was All right. All right. I mean, it was Beyonce at one point back in elementary, but you know. Not anymore? Nah. What, she got to be Rihanna. No. I mean, she's a she's an easy target. Yeah. I guess. She could, sure. She, she, could, she could slip some of them Fendi's on you. No, I'm Maybe. good. Slip some Fendi's over the Indies. It's a Mendy's, yeah. It's a Mendy's. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Kyle was on the website where, like, last Yeah, I was looking at them. We, we, we was texting. I almost got some draws. Yeah. <laughs> the little uh, lace joints. The little frillies. Yeah. The little frillies. I mean, you know, you get a little, uh, get a little breeze going through there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah, man, you got too many kids around the house. <laughs> You're trying to get money. <laughs> so you look up when I come by. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> that is great, a parenting right there. <laughs> you know, it ain't about them; it's about me. Mm -hmm. I, I about mean, them. for for like two of them, wouldn't you rather them like look down? Huh? I said, wouldn't you rather like the two of them look down instead? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it just depends on where they at or whatever. Yeah, you know. But if they look it straight up, then you know, it really does make a difference. I mean, they're not that short, not that tall. <laughs> hanging dick in my daughter's face, like that. What you're talking about? Like, close your eyes. Just be like, close <laughs> your eyes. that did not sound cry. right. That did not sound right. <laughs> <laughs> the views of Jonathan Crickler. Hey, 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 Twenty yeah. minutes. I already <laughs> got one. That's gonna be the YouTube preview. Hanging <laughs> dick in my daughter's face. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Crazy. Uh, Gross. Dude, I had enough. Uh, <laughs> He's like, they're just canceling me. <laughs> no, I don't care. So, have you guys ever been in a grocery store and like you forget like simple things, like like you forget like like what kind of eggs you normally buy? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say. Like, oh, there's a story behind that. I thought you were gonna uh, say like your children. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm bougie. I get. I stick nah, with the same my mom brand. A lot. Yeah, but like bring it to your car too. I went. I went. Mm -hmm. I went to go to to buy some flour. And I couldn't I remember what kind of flour do I buy because there's like bleached flour and unbleached flour. And I was like, dang, which one do I get? Well, think about it as kind of like an asshole. Do you want a bleach <laughs> or unbleached? I was about to one? say that. God damn it. <laughs> you dirty mother. God damn no, it. No, I don't think it works like I that. I was going to say, I like my flour. Like, I like my ass. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think it works like that. But y'all ain't never been in the grocery store and be like, dang, what, what kind of ketchup do I normally get? No. Oh, nah, I get these stick with the same ketchup. brands. Mm -hmm. Great value, everything. Yep. Really? No. I'm, 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 I'm a name brand. I mean, I don't. I'm in a grocery shop. What so, kind of ketchup do you get? Speaking of ketchup. Mm -hmm. Do y'all keep y'all's condiments in the fridge? Yes. Yeah, depends on what it is. Because yeah. it says okay, refrigerate okay. after so, opening. Wait, wait, let me ask you this. All right, so like certain ones make sense, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. if you're gonna put fucking like ranch in the fridge, yeah, that may you have yeah, to do it's that. Like dairy, yeah. you don't want a pink sauce situation going on in your fucking house. True, um, but know what that means I'm talking. You know what that means? I didn't follow the pink sauce trend, but I'm oh shit, it's gotten new stuff. But I'm talking like soy sauce. You put soy sauce in the fridge? No, <clears> okay. I've seen so many white people put soy sauce in the fridge, and I don't know what the fuck the problem no, is. No, I hate hot sauce in the fridge. I don't get that either. Yeah. That's, that's just that's weird. what I was going to say. Do you put well, hot sauce in the if fridge? If you want to cool it down a little bit. I put sriracha in the that's fridge. That's cold sauce, no. I put sriracha Why in you the fridge. Some, that was my next one. Why either. do you put sriracha in the fridge? I don't really eat sriracha, so it's just in there, but no. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> expired. It probably is. I don't, never eat, I don't even know where it came from, to be honest with you. Wait, sriracha? <laughs> yeah, I think like one Somebody. of y'all. <laughs> no, no, it might have been. One of y'all girlfriends brought it over. And That's all. Like, oh, he taking. <laughs> y'all girlfriends do it at Kyle's house. The playhouse. I mean, no. so you tried it. Kyle, what you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's an uh, easy you, trick. You can get slow, uh -huh. man. I'm going to look in Kyle's He's phone. Sure, daddy. Yeah. Top messages is going to be to a mysterious J. And I'm going to be like. Who's this, Kyle? No, I'll delete my messages. Uh, Juicy J. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. 
Josh is double J. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett. Nah, man. When you talk about like leaving stuff at the grocery store, nah, I fucked up real hard the other day. Mm. Mm. I mean, you know, me and Michael, we went to go get some some stuff at uh, Walmart. Oh, y'all holding and hands like, a little bit. <laughs> but uh, brothers, good with holding pink stuff. Who drove? <laughs> oh, of course, it was me. Mm. <laughs> Come on, it's just the same way I treat y'all. Alex <laughs> sat in Michael's lap so he could reach uh, the pedals. <laughs> honestly, so I can reach the steering wheel. Obviously. Honestly, I just pictured Michael with his head out the window as Alex drove. Like, damn, was he a dog? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I pictured it. Dang. He that's fucked up, Kyle. Well, he don't listen to the show. <laughs> yeah, he don't. What's he going to do? Leave his room? <laughs> he won't even leave the stoop. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, like, I was just he grabbing some, um, I was. I need to get some bananas. I need to get some oats so, for my smoothie nigga. and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, I was like, you know what? I need to take some money out, too, because I just need to have some. I usually just have some cash on I me. I carry some cash. Yeah. You never know. And no. I was in a hurry to get everything all together. You know exactly what happened. So I was just getting everything together. I got it all bagged up, you know, scanned and in the basket. And then I'm like waiting on this dude. So I'm just like, all right, I'm just move the basket back that way and put it over there. And I was standing with him. I completely forgot. I completely forgot that that shit like put money out. And it was just sitting oh, in there. How much did you take out? Oh, I, I only do like forty. You oh, know, some little kid snatched it. Yeah, I'm sure because like I went, I went out <laughs> I like we was, we was carrying the uh, groceries outside, and it was like at least two minutes of being away from that register. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no. fuck! I know I left it in there, so I God tossed damn. it in the car, <laughs> ran back in there. Shit was like the the whole um, the the uh, checkout station that I was at. It was like laying clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, oh, just it here. was the fucking cashier. I guess yeah, they took the money. Oh yeah, like yeah. somebody yeah. found it and they're like, "I'll tell on you if you don't give me one of them 20 <laughs> so They shut that shit down. And I was like, rough. I went up yeah. to uh, the, the chick who was running the um, the, the area, mm -hmm. and I was like, "All right, do you have? Did, did somebody turn in some money?" And I like in the back of my mind, I was like, "You stole this shit." <laughs> but I was like, "Yeah, did somebody turn in some money?" And it was like, and she goes over to customer service and she goes to the oh, person who's stolen. Like, just yeah, she's like, "I'm sorry, nobody." Turn something, and I was like, "Shut up!" Was this you know, oh, let's go check the camera. <laughs> Walmart, <laughs> Dylan. You just see her walk Walmart. over. It's the 29th Walmart. Yeah. So you knew it's like second grade grimy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you would have, they, they were just taking your money if you went to this one over here. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Just got robbed uh, outright. Those are like sure. the mo top Walmarts I hate is this one on Pawnee mm -hmm. takes number one mm -hmm. and the Walmart on 29. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Number two. Yeah, that's no. the college Walmart. The one 29. Hey, if it's any consolation, I feel your pain. Yeah. Because I was at Walmart, the 29th one as well, the other day, mm -hmm. buying some little snacks. You found 20 I had, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, I was going to pay with cash, so I pulled out a 20. Uh -huh. And I was like, nah, let me just pay with a card. I don't want to deal with the fucking co coins. Yeah. Uh -huh. And when I got back to Julie's house, I realized that I had left the 20 there after paying with my card. He, she was like, at least it's only 20. I'm like, I'd rather it be fucking none. Yeah, like, what exactly. do you mean? I thought he was going to have a 20. story like, I drove all the way back and my 20 was still there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was drawn as fuck. That comment? No. <laughs> Stupid. It's probably that same person. She was like, you can go back and check. I'm like, you know some fucking badass kid took yeah. that bitch no, immediately. I found the 20 he probably bought yeah, like five Reese's actually, peanut butter cups. Right. <laughs> you know what? I disagree. You you just did a good thing for people. Yeah, right? I honestly think you never know. A, a family, a, a no. mother of five children mm -hmm. was there right after mm -hmm. you. There was a mother was, of six children thought, in there. With thought you. she was going to be able to get mm -hmm. enough groceries to last the weekend. Oh, she wow. Wow. She saw that forty dollars. Oh, she probably went and bought a box of condoms in a twelve pack. <laughs> See, well, yeah. well, he do it. And well, now, he do it. I was, <laughs> now the she had enough money to buy more food for her kids. Exactly. The funny thing about that is, mm -hmm. on the way home, like they, Michael, he was like, he knew I was mad because I was getting mad at traffic. <laughs> I was getting mad at the fucking traffic lights and that's, shit. That's normal, and, you and Alex. I was like, nah, it ain't. That's and, normal. Nah, it ain't. <laughs> but uh, the other thing that happened too, because I was like, and you know, there's somebody that's just like sitting in there, is like, oh man, I'm blessed. Like, <laughs> oh, you already yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same thing. Won't he do it? <laughs> same thing with you. I'm pretty sure you blessed somebody twenty dollars. Well, you know who. Whoever it is, if you listen to the All Points podcast, fuck you, give me my money back. <laughs> Dang. What, if, what well, if it was that person who was listening right now? <laughs> How does it know? <laughs> just like a 20 just slides in the door the next session. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, you ain't getting that back, buddy. Yeah. You snooze, Not you in this day and era. Right. I was like, there ain't no way. Like, I knew when I was going back, I was like, yeah, that shit's gone. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's out of currency now. That's rough. Right. But it's whatever. It's, it's not going to mean nothing when the dollar doesn't mean nothing. Yeah, you know, I mean, I still got my crypto, so. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did y'all, did y'all hear about? Still got my bip though. <laughs> did y'all hear about that Russian plane fighter? Yeah, the, who flew the plane into the the hotel or apartment complex and ejected uh, before it crashed into the building in, in uh, Kiev. Yeah, yeah. And it, uh, I said, dang, they running out of missiles. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed that's, that's up. That's funny. messed up. It's not funny. But I mean, they, they was the they was already using those kamikaze drones. Yeah, they, they're, they're using been. drones now too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they must be running out of missiles. They, yeah, it's not like they're getting desperate. Cause like, what it's was it going on since what February? Yeah, Bro. and then, like, like, like Putin was like it, <laughs> doing martial law and shit. I'm gonna laugh so hard when Putin tries to launch a tactical nuke, and then it just like goes thump, into the ground <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't go off. It's like it's like one of them uh, fireworks that get stuck in like the uh, shell. <laughs> Shit. In a couple of months, Putin gonna be walking around with a slingshot. So y'all better watch out. <laughs> he gonna be on his whole. He's gonna come out on that horse with yeah. like his shirt off. You better watch out, man. Russia going broke, nah, bro. If we lucky, he'll just die of cancer. True. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, I ain't say nothing to. What, why are you? <laughs> what do you think? Putin's gonna episode. come kick down the door? Yes. Yes. Well, well, Kyle, you are the one who yes. did not say I anything. Yes, I'm, not he I'm not worried about a nuke. I I'm will take you on my horse. horse. <laughs> Swear to God. Nah, I, ain't, I ain't messing around with Russia. <laughs> why? <laughs> what, what, Russia? what are they gonna do to America? I told you. They're gonna steal the, the account details. I told you. <laughs> We're number one in everything <laughs> except for nukes. <laughs> We're number two in nukes. We are. Bro, well, I can no, guarantee we are, you that half of their stockpile isn't even functional. That's what I was gonna say. We are number one at functional nukes. Hey. Like that's the difference. Mm -hmm. Is that our military budget far outweighs theirs? Mm -hmm. We have we have so much fucking like firepower that we can fight China and Russia at the same time. Hey, hey, hey. That is like no. nah. That is like hey. that is our military doctrine. No. Like we can fight two niggas at the same time. No. No. At the same damn time. No, I don't believe that for a second. That's true. That's, that's why, like, that's why, that's why we yeah, nah. don't get invaded. Yeah. Because strategically it is. Imp I wouldn't say impossible, but no. strategically it, it is, is almost really a suicide off. mission yeah. to invade the U.S. That is why. The war zone for that front has shifted to being uh, sowing uh, division and disinformation in the country. Yep. <sighs> nah. It's straight, it's we don't get over invaded because we make kick-ass movies. Shut That's the why. No. They love the our reason, Marvel movies. Yeah, we don't get invaded is because they're scared. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are scared. Yeah. Of Rock. Canada and Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute. They go on. Let's detach real quick uh, before y'all do something. Nah, they're like, look, look, look. We got a little America's back, all right? We hold it down for the little homie. So y'all stay over there. And Russia's over Canada there does. shaking in his little frozen boots and everything. Yeah. Like, oh. The Mounties just like on the coast uh -huh. is waiting. Mexico's mm -hmm. like, well, if you guys get rid of U.S., where are we going to put our drugs? <laughs> and Canada's like, eh, go for it. Damn. Nope. Yeah. That is is a stereotype, Kyle. No, there's not just drugs in Mexico. It's not all sepia tone. Okay, sorry. Yeah, there's also tacos. True. <laughs> we can get those here, Sam. <sighs> not as good. Have you ever had an actual? There's also tequila. Mexican. I mean, I got the rocks tequila. That's not real tequila. <laughs> Yes, it is. You, no, it's not. You, he shows you how he makes it. Real tequila he makes it. only comes from Mexico. There's five regions in Mexico, <laughs> like tequila-producing regions. It's just like champagne or cognac. Was, I didn't know you was a tequila expert. So yeah, there's five. <laughs> All right. Wait, what five? It can't be called a tequila if it does if it isn't produced in Mexico. Mm. Well, yeah, that's what they do. They like you know. Uh, Companies have been sued over that. Then it's called Hennessy. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. They call it tequila. <laughs> And it has to come from the blue agave cactus. Word. So now you know right. a little see, bit about See, tequila. guys? You learn you listen something. Listen to our podcast. Yep. Yep. You listen to the alcoholic. You learn and something. Yep. <laughs> you yep. pick up a thing. Hey, or two. I, I'm not going to question it. You go. There, there's two people you always listen to, alcoholics and strippers. Mm -hmm. They're uh, the ones who know everything. You never trust a man in a wheelchair with dirty shoes. <laughs> 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 I mean, I can't argue with that. I mean, but what if they're hand me downs? <laughs> what? I, I, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Never. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I should be the title of this episode. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I've never heard that. Oh shit! I've heard that before. Look, they also haven't heard that the juice is worth the squeeze. All right, the juice Man. is worth the squeeze. Oh shit! Oh, 
Oh, man. Uh, this Damn. nigga over here holding out on <laughs> That's uh, a hard candies and mints and things. You yeah. need you need a mint? Yeah, I need yeah. something to take the edge off. Oh man. Man. What? Taking the edge off? Yeah. That's, that's gotta be need. a break, right? Uh no, nah, we still got six uh -huh. more minutes, but I can fill six minutes of reasons why MTV only plays ridiculousness all day. Wait, is, is that what they so do? So we can hear uh <laughs> That's fucking Holy laugh. Chanel West Coast. Man, man. that's crazy. Mm -hmm. That like, caught me in my <laughs> dreams. <laughs> Sexy though. So I was looking at it. I Googled it. I said, why is MTV only playing ridiculousness? Because like, it's owned by the... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's owned by... Uh, <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> no, because... By, like, by which media? <laughs> I think it's Viacom, right? They I'll own MTV. Play MTV. Yeah, Viacom. And I think they don't care about it. They gave up on MTV a long time ago. I wouldn't doubt it. And they... Uh, I'm pretty sure ridiculousness is cheap to make. <laughs> and they said that uh, their focus is on Paramount Plus, really. But um, I personally, I got theories, you know. Uh -huh. I think Twitter has theories, too. Black uh, and I wrote down my that's, favorite theories. That's the worst place to find theories. I, f I wrote down my favorite theories on my phone to tell you guys today. So here are three reasons why I think MTV only plays ridiculousness all day, every day on MTV. Uh, the first one is Rob Deerdack has witnessed an MTV exec commit a murder, and that's why they play a show all day. I mean, they could just day. murder him, though. Or he knows too much. I mean, but well, he's dead, he can't talk. Right. They could just be like, oh, Rob Deerdeck died in a tragic skateboarding accident. Yep. Right. He tried to pick it back up, and he's too old. Mm-hmm. He yeah, I tried to do an ollie old. and somehow a hole went in his head. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to do the Superman and instead he caught a skateboard in the jaw. Oh, man. <laughs> he tried to do the Christ air and then he got raptured. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You know, my other reasons don't even matter now. <laughs> I was going to say MTV is money laundering, but I can't, you know, give a reason for that. I also think maybe MTV would be responsible for Big Black's death, and that's why they play his ridiculousness all day, every day. Okay, so let me do him a favor. Let me fix your theory. Mm -hmm. I'm going to combine all three. Okay. I think Rob Deerdeck is money laundering through MTV using his own show because he killed Big Black. What about the exec? What about the exec? He is the exec. <laughs> what you look <laughs> secretly? Oh, no, no, not on exec. paper. Only. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> only he's a face. Yeah, he's okay. a, yeah. I well, like we're that at the theory. bottom of it now. We're gonna die because uh, Viacom owns Anchor. Do they? You didn't know? No, Spotify owns Anchor. See, I was testing you. No. Shut okay. up, Alex. You know what? I'm taking a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be right back with the All Points Podcast. And we're back. But Is there a hashtag on the table? Um, my mom bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I know the reason. She, it's a strong she said, hey, I bought you something for your podcast. And I was like, all Aww. right, thanks. It's actually sweet. That's cute, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's throw it in the trash. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or we can, we can give it a purpose. So what's the hashtag of the day, Sam? Hashtag, uh, oh, I got one to segue into the next topic, mm -hmm. one that I'm sure Jonathan just been itching to get out of his pants. I haven't Ooh. said uh, it. Hashtag Southern rap has dumbed down society. Hey, take it away. <laughs> Isn't that what yours was? No, because I, I disagree with you. So I wanted you to give your, your reasoning first. Hey, this isn't the Jonathan show. Before... Well, why, why it's your you, topic. I, you I shared it in the group chat. Guys, why yeah, why do you, you feel that way, Jonathan? What are you talking about? They, Look, you guys are bonkers and outrageous. Um, what? Yeah, so the news is great today. Uh, <laughs> lots of weather going on. Uh, oh, yeah. You know. Why is Southern rap had done down our society? Hey. Hmm. You don't have to yell. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I got this mint in my mouth. Right. Made, me, made me yell. <sighs> All right, fine. Well, carry on, carry on. Just just get to your part first, and then I'll, I'll go, because I still got to wake up. Well, I don't really have a part. I just, I don't really necessarily agree with the fact that Southern rap has uh, dumbed down society. I think just like any other form of media, it depends on what it is that the culture decides to consume. And if everybody wants to watch or listen to stupid shit, then, you know, that's just because just it's popular. That's just because it's popular. Like, if people want to watch fucking, you know, Joe Rogan talk about, like, Oh, Chimp. 
<laughs> or if you, <laughs> you know, if people want to follow that bullshit or, or they want to follow whatever, whatever stuff Ye is saying these days, mm. you know, like that's just because of that. It doesn't mean that as a whole podcast are making people stupid or as a whole, you know, rap is making people stupid just because the most uh, famous currently rapper is spouting. You thought I was feeling you? No. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now, and, and I have some real examples in Southern hip hop that I think uh, go against what, what you say. All right. So I'd like to hear your take. Huh? Who's the, who are these miracle examples? I mean, no, no, no. no, no. Said Listen, miracle. I'm not saying that they're geniuses or anything, but I feel like when you're saying stuff like that, you're discounting a lot of, of Southern rappers. Lord. Like, you know, uh, just as like one example, uh, the biggest one, I'll start off with the biggest one just off top. You I mean, you've got Outkast. They don't make music anymore. No, but they did. Did. You know, you got Killer Mike. So you mean like today's nope. Southern rap? Nope. Also, nope. oh, okay. I was pivoting there. Anyways, um, Southern rap pretty much has been dominating pop culture since 2006, I would say. Now, as we all know, hip hop is probably the most popular genre of music out and has been since the 90s, eh, late 90s, mid 90s, whatever. Actually, what? actually according to the okay. Billboard chart. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we all know that popular culture is, well, it's popular culture. It's basically what people are usually going to be, uh, they're going to see, usually what they're going to imitate. So you look at Southern rap and everything like that. And I was just listening to this other podcast and uh, they were pretty much talking about, there's a Southern artist and he's talking about how he knows a few people from the South that aren't the typical he's talking about jid or jid or whatever the fuck uh mm -hmm. earth gang i don't know fucking j cole because everybody got to mention him yep. and then um he's like there's is a he few of them southern rap? he's like what yeah isn't he considered where's he from north carolina hmm. so pretty much he's pretty much mentioning how you have these types of people that uh, uh so make a certain that. type that don't stick into the certain um genre or cliche rapping the mold of, 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 of southern the southern rapper. rap and yeah, all that like shit gold like, teeth and yeah yeah you look at boozy webby and all that shit i'm not knocking them or anything like that because i was listening to watch my movies a few days ago and i was like jamming <laughs> but um it's one of those things that you look at this genre over here and they're the ones that are pretty much a little bit more articulate with their words, what they're saying, their mm -hmm. content, et cetera, et cetera. But they're not getting the most plays and everything because of what if, what's already happened, you know, in music and everything like that. Like if you ain't what talking about, you talking about? Uh, in, in, in hip hop. Like you, like I said, look at all the most of Southern rap and everything like that. It's like, and like it's the simple as beats over and over again. It's just trap. It's like so basic. If you ain't talking about some dumb shit, then nobody wants to hear. It. And the more and more people keep consuming a lot of this stuff and everything like that, that's your peak. Like, so maybe it's just because I don't listen to like what's hot right now, like. I tend to look for shit that fits my mold. Uh -huh. and I like stuff that has content. But even like looking back over the years, and you know, this is me being fucking old head showing at this point, but right. it's like, if we're talking like Southern rappers who did pop off, like let's breeze past the 90s. Let's get out of the topic of like 3-6 Mafia and fucking mm -hmm. uh, Outkast. It, what was it? Oh five. One of the biggest fucking faces on the planet was Chameleonaire. Yeah, and he had a lot of shit to like actually say. Where is he from? And then like two thousand. What was it? Two thousand nine. You had Ti, and like we clown on him today because he likes to check his daughter's hymen all the fucking time, and like that's fucking wrong. But I mean, like he had some real shit to say too. And like I mean, like yeah, like listen, there was a lot of like watered down fucking commercial bullshit at the same yeah. time, but. You know, he he follows the mold that a lot of artists do, where it's like the hits are the hits because they're hits. But then if you listen to the whole album, it's like there's some shit that actually has to be said. But then, you know, you also got people like fucking Nelly or like you got Lil Wayne, consider Nelly who like, so you know, like we can shit all over Lil Wayne. But like, you know, he's also said some real shit, too. Fly you got Beetle Ghetto Juice, Boys, Beetle fucking Juice. UGK. Hey, you said we're not going to go back to. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But I mean, like, even then, like right now, who's popping off? Nice. At least maybe to me. I don't know. But like Tobey no, Nwigwe mm. coming out of Texas. Mm. He's got real shit to say, too. It's like social commentary shit. Well, on that flip side of that, <clears throat> who's probably the most popular rapper out there right now? Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Where's he from? He's yeah. like got the top. How does he his have whole listed? album's in the top. I haven't listened. Granted, I'm judging, Tracks. even though without evidence and all that shit. But 
I haven't listened, but from what I've heard, him mm-hmm. and pretty much little baby, they're gonna keep or, and the baby. They pretty much do they have like the same flow for every song or everything like that, or do they? I don't, I don't really know. I know the baby. He's been criticized of that because he's just saying the same fucking yeah. thing over and over, same flow, same flow. I don't necessarily know about little baby. I'm assuming that it's the same thing, but. Who is Nardo Wick? We talked about him before. He's the dude that was on the mic and he wasn't really saying it. Where is he from? Anybody know? Nope. No, no, no. Oh, no, I don't know. He whispers when he raps. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, and, and, and this is also just judgment and everything like that. But a lot of the face tat, regular color as dreads, bullshit that has already been out and everything. Most of those rappers are from where? The South. The South has been dominating hip hop. They've been putting out bullshit. I say it's more so... It ain't really the reason. It's more the the people that are, you know, back then the artists were talented. They were created, you know. That's why they got in. These rappers now that are famous off of popularity is because they come from the streets. These are people that sold drugs mm-hmm. and always in shit. And then, like, they don't want to do this no more. So there's like, oh, what's a new hustle? The quickest way to get a new hustle is to become a rapper. Yeah. Like little Baby said, he never he never wanted to be a rapper. He just, by happen, by chance, he started rapping, got popular. And it ain't like he was like, oh, I want to be a rapper when I grow up. That, mm-hmm. You know, so like all these people from the South that are rapping right now, they all come from the streets like that. Nardo Wick, the, yeah. all these dudes. But I mean, isn't that how like the whole Memphis scene kind of popped off? I mean, pardon my ignorance if I'm being ignorant, but like, isn't that kind of how the whole Memphis scene popped off? No. Oh, yeah, he, <clears throat> You can name the Yo Gotti's, the oh, Young Dolphs, <laughs> all of them. And then Glorilla, she's from Memphis. Like, what does she rap about? Is this, she rap about the same yeah. Yeah. the same stuff. So I, it's just like, that's what's being promoted. That's what's being marketed. And the people that's running these labels, they see dollar signs. So they're going to sign them because it's marketable. Uh, that's what the people are buying. So they're going to sell it. I wouldn't go into a Kanye ramp there. <laughs> that's not even. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're talking about the people that are running the label. <laughs> no, no. That, I'm saying label. It's like, okay, you look at Cardi B. Why do you think she became so popular? Because she knew people. Because she came from the strip club. It's just like, what she's she promoting? What is what is the image she's promoting? Like, what is her content? That's why she's so yeah. popular. It ain't like, oh, she's like got all this great content. Yeah, and she it's raps the about, same thing. Look at Megan Thee Stallion. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, they know that this is what's being, you know, mm-hmm. consumed. It makes a lot of money, so I want to sign this because it's an image. It's gonna whatever. That's heard, that's how the labels think. I heard yeah. that ain't, no, ain't even about that. Ain't even like that in real life. So okay, hey, that, it doesn't life. matter. But that's what you're promoting. How will we know that if you put that in your music? Yeah. Then maybe we would see the other side of her. So here's my question: <clears throat> Who's really to blame? <laughs> Why is it that people want to consume that shit? I mean, it's trendy. It's, 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 it's trendy. Yeah, it's trendy. And like I said, I think it's TikTok. <laughs> yeah, but also that, that, can, <laughs> that can go into it too. No, nah, it was. It was way before TikTok. But I just yeah. wanted to shit on TikTok. I mean, like I said, just just go back to my point uh, or what you were talking about. You're talking about how. Um, you know the people that get into the game are usually you know uh, street niggas and everything like that what they're talking about is appealing to other niggas that are from the street and that's, all, that's they, all they know that's their environment it's yeah. like okay so you got you're, you're completing the circle you're just talking about exactly. oh, I shot a nigga with the drum whatever yeah. and then, I, I would I would just say like if you have like a unique style to you because that's the thing about it it seems like everybody has like that same style mm-hmm. I mean like I, I've listened to enough of it I can distinguish between them but it's not like nobody's like really wow on me except for like some other people like this uh 645 ar you ever heard of him oh god is that <laughs> i was like i knew that fucking name. <laughs> it's like you, you go to you regional go to the philly rappers go to the west coast rappers you go to the new york rappers mm-hmm. it's all based off the same yeah. content and it's be like okay this is what's making money so i'm gonna do it's basically yeah, the golden I'm, state warriors mm-hmm. it's like oh what's popular what's winning ball yeah, games yeah, to yeah. shoot more threes oh i need to shoot three so you're just gonna fit your format based off of what's popular and what's successful so yeah, they yeah. figure out the most successful artists are the ones that's making that type of music that's, that's, so i want to get rich and make millions and get number ones and go number one and on the billboards and all this mm, shit so it's like 
I'm going to do it too. Mm-hmm. That's, that's basically like what happened in the UFC when you had somebody who had like a style like that was really dominant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so then people was trying to emulate that and then that's what became part of the UFC like the 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 dominant style until somebody figures out how to counter it. Yeah. Then it's like okay well then now everybody's moving to that style that can counter it so then they it's, can keep up. It's, just, it's basically just yeah like same, yeah right. artists following the trend. The same thing with auto-tune is like T-Pain <laughs> oh, yeah. did it and then Lil Wayne and <laughs> Kanye did it and then after that everybody started doing it. So it's, now it's, it's it's ain't went away. No, it ain't went away. It's they're a not sound leading the wave of the dumb shit. <laughs> But How do you, you know, feel about? I would have jumped oh. in on your your topic or your. Uh, I would have. I would. I would correct that remix that instead of using the UFC, uh, uh-huh. you could pretty much go with battle bots. All right, seeing battle bots is yeah. a bunch of robots fighting each <laughs> other. <laughs> well, how, how do you feel about artists? You know, um, I guess denouncing you know what made them famous or talking about how oh that's not really me i just do this because like I'm, they want to change I their image it. i like, get it what, what you mean like, like what, what you mean, mean? like Nicki minaj in her I, little interview talking about how okay. she doesn't really <laughs> like doing sexual explicit okay but lyrics. she comes out with freaky girl yeah so, so it's just how do you feel I, about artists doing that i mean I, I think about it in terms of like say if you're a chef or something like that mm-hmm. you know if everybody likes you know this certain dish or whatnot yeah. but that's your favorite dish like something else is it's mm-hmm. kind of like that like you know you may have a preference for this you may like th- enjoy me like making this mm-hmm. but the way you're gonna make money is giving them that dish right yeah. there yeah yeah I mean, that's, that's yeah. how it's gonna work i think like, we get too caught up in believing everything they say but we yeah. don't like i heard you say something on the episode that i wasn't on you was talking about like oh how does r&b singers feel like like if you text your girl or something these lyrics like the backstreet i said that's because oh, they were, I, I said <laughs> do like r&b women like how to like how do you sing r&b music about love and you like married or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah then yeah. like how do you keep your do they keep their how they and then my words? rebuttal on that is like that's not even their words it's like mm-hmm. these are songs written for them all they're right. doing is singing it mm-hmm. they might true. have an input to that's change true. a few yeah. things but <laughs> how fucked up would it be to like you know if you knew that that was like some R&B singing girl and you started fucking her but then singing her song uh, singing their songs to her while you doing it and some shit grimy yeah, I'd be super but, grimy nah what are you talking about um uh, pretty much for artists and everything that that want to change. You're talking about they want to change their image, or that's they're only putting this out because that's what's selling. Well, I, like I read the, I saw the headline about Nicki Minaj, and then I read the article, mm-hmm. and I, I bet she basically was like, she people want her to be like featured on her songs, but like when the songs fill with like sexual explicit lyrics and stuff, she don't really want to do it. Mm-hmm. Well, but she funny. also made Freaky Girl or Super Freak or whatever, and then she talks about like how she's not really like that in real life she's actually a goofy girl yeah I'm, she, you know, I'm with that yeah. i'm with that and all because it's the same thing that we expect from actors like they're yeah. they're you don't expect chris hemsworth or whatever to pretty much just be running around like yeah i'm fucking thor no i'm really fucking thor like that'd yeah, be I weird would, if i was no, that's, a, that's kind of the same thing with future how she kind of like spilled the tea in her interview nick and now she's like i talked to future asking him about like yeah why you be rapping about all these drugs and got all these kids following mm-hmm. you stuff and he's like it's like in real life. It's like I don't even be on no drugs. Like I don't even. It's like I don't even be doing that. Maybe at one point in time he probably did, but mm-hmm. he's not. He's that's not. what I always say. Did Jay Z really sell drugs? No, I don't believe Hope he did. did that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. You sound like Face on Love. You sound like right. Face on Love. Like, did this he nigga know? So dope. I mean, never mind. <clears throat> but yeah, now, uh, like I said, uh, the Southern rappers have destroyed America, and uh, they're destroying. <laughs> but that's the world uh they've dumbed down the population and to that point i think that uh uh people what, with high iqs the, uh, need to, <laughs> what is the uh, permanent solution you have yeah what's the what's the solution to uh, we're solution all gonna have to die out but I, like i said in my other you know since we're going off my list whatever the fuck uh people with high iqs need to donate sperm and uh their eggs and shit yeah yeah i think that's the only way out of this all right. Yeah. I'll get to work. Like required? You think it should be <laughs> yes. required? Yes. Think nah. about it. All right. Have you ever seen like, Idiocracy? Nah, bro. Because yes. now you're just entering eugenics. Yeah, territory. exactly. But I also Whatever. think, like, what if, you like, 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 yeah, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> trying to like, save the world, damn But it. there's also, like, the world don't need to be saved. There's yes, also a reason why, like, you know, them nerds, you know, what? ain't in pornos, though. Because they can't bust like the mother. <laughs> How do you know? Do. How many nerds are you sucking down? <laughs> Nice. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, no Anyways, problem. how many uh, have you you seen Idiocracy? 
Cool. Yes. All right. So we've mostly all seen you know, Idiocracy. They're talking about the comparison in the beginning where they mm. had the two different families where Cletus was fucking everybody and having a bunch of dumbass kids mm-hmm. and just blowing up the population with idiots while these two fucking nerds who actually have high IQs were like, oh, it's not the right time. Uh, uh, if he would have just been jagging off into a cup every week, then mm-hmm. they could have been, you know, filling up the, the population. What if they got weak sperm? Yeah, well, work harder. Nah, man. Uh-huh. See, you got it all wrong. What? All right. We need to, like, make a, a beverage where, you know, <laughs> well, no, it's, 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 listen, okay. you need to have a beverage right. that has an ingredient that's Stephon used, like, like Viagra in it, right? But then market it towards Stephon the smart kids. So, you know, put a little cocaine in there so they can Whoa. work a little harder, too. Yeah, yeah. So then when they're studying, they're like, man, I'm studying hard, but I'm trying to fuck. Mm. And so then <laughs> they start going out and they start fucking. So, but it's, huh? Yeah. Go for it. No, finish just, finish your thought. That's that's pretty much it. So no. then they can go out and start. But it's also been, the earth with some smart. <laughs> it's also been scientifically proven that playing at computers all day can um, lower your sperm count. Yeah. So maybe them high intelligent niggas. Wait, wait, wait where, where, where? Hey man, I, <laughs> where I, I don't, that I didn't write an article. Please, or some Harvard my study. Friend, where's the you play video games, games all day? Because <laughs> the the heat that comes from your, your computer. Under your desk Wait, can affect so your sperm. So what if it's not under your desk? Yeah. What if you're standing? I, don't, I didn't write the article. Uh, all right. Just, God, it sounds like it's cite your sources. Bro, you read it. Read it. Said that I didn't me. write the article. All right. Ebon World's never, you know, See? proved me wrong. <laughs> it's kind of sounding like whoever wrote that. Is that website <laughs> still around? Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> sounds like cool. they could have benefited. Uh, could have benefited from coming from a line of a person with high IQ. I don't know. So you think so? Like. Now I know that getting a high IQ I'll, isn't hereditary. If everybody yeah. had high IQs, and you couldn't tell nobody shit. <laughs> exactly. See how much just be like that. Uh, uh, actually, Jonathan, because uh, <laughs> intelligence is actually uh, able to be genetically passed out. Everybody would think what they were right and think they got the answer. I'm intelligent. That's right. Like, I just turn to drugs. <laughs> happens. Can you imagine a world of smart people though? Yes. Yes. Oh, it's like you know, how boring it would be. Yeah, it'd be hella boring. No, come Bro, on. every come building on. would be. It's like, <laughs> it'd be <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. I have, seem to have a hair in my soup. Uh, uh, that actually isn't a hair. That is yeah. a. Uh, <laughs> actually, sir, why, everybody why in our kitchen. Talk like that. <laughs> everybody in the kitchen is you want. Actually, that you know hair what? follicle came Actually, from your would be the most used word in the English dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it would actually be the like the first name. Like, <laughs> point well, Dexter would be the be, popular name. <laughs> it'd be great, okay? Because eventually they develop time travel, and then they could mm-hmm. come back now, and we'd have PS sixes way before we were supposed to. So no, I like some adult niggas. Call them PlayStations <laughs> because no one will be playing. They'll all be studying. Nah, They'll man. be the study station. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> study station six. <laughs> and like fucking uh, like material materializes like pencils and shit. Yep. Man. Uh, the study station. <laughs> you know what? We should do that. Yeah. Uh, actually, Jonathan, uh, backwards time travel isn't possible without negative uh, density <laughs> exactly. energy. Uh, actually, if you have tachyon particles, that you can harness them, then you can go on back in the past. Yeah, so think about our hip hop. <laughs> our hip hop would just be one long TED talk. <laughs> Over elevator beats. Oh, uh, I want this. Power 93.9. Here is uh, <laughs> Joe Murder with his uh, theory on relativity. <laughs> here's well, you William see, here's here's Scott the Third. <laughs> <laughs> I want this. Oh, shit. I don't want to get you all trapped in confusion, but the sun is nuclear fusion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are. <laughs> all our movies just be uh, fictional movies on dumb people. <laughs> Wow. Uh, ooga booga. Uh, I'm a caveman. Uh, See, now this is how the world was. You're saying that you don't want this world? I, no, I do. I don't. I'm sorry. You know, I'm so the guys sound like this. What do the women sound like? Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. What does the women sound like? Oh, like, uh, they don't have to hey, sound any different. The same is two octaves higher. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I think the population will also go down too because no one will be having sex either. Yeah, they would. Oh, nah, uh, because man. it would be a sustainable earth that nobody is. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be sustainable because there'll be enough, you know, that you know food is. to go around. That actually is a genuine concern when yeah. it comes to like yeah. why intelligent people have fewer children. Exactly because they recognize that the world is becoming overpopulated. Yeah, that and, which and means and that they would just have d- sex a lot. Develop systems and, and and ships and everything, which means that we would be going to the moon. And we would create, create we create sex. 
sex going box. Oh, I'm going. I'm freezing you myself. <laughs> we would create sex box, so there definitely would be population. You know, would go down. Yeah, More well. people will be dying, sticking their penis in blenders than than actual death. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, I just I'm just saying, man, I don't I don't think a world of intelligent people is worth it. Well, OK, I- increasing the numbers would be better. All right. We, we can have half and half or, you know, a little bit more. than. If there was a world full of intelligent people, uh, how would Southern hip hop thrive? I, I <laughs> hope it would die. <laughs> All right. It wouldn't All be right. Southern hip hop no more. No on, more. On. All right, Cause. we can we can uh, make a compromise. A world full of Jermaine. Cold, <laughs> stupid. I, uh, I, I, everybody would fall asleep according to <laughs> according to Twitter. <laughs> yeah, then we would be a well rested population. Stupid. Yeah. What if we just had a world full of DJ academics? <laughs> oh, that guy. Oh my god. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that world would would would, would survive actually. Because you say that people wouldn't be fucking. That and just I just don't. Think I would that. trade Jordan Poole getting punched in the face for <laughs> academics. Somebody yeah. punching that likewise. <laughs> but now speaking of people fucking, I would Jordan. trade academics for a chicken sandwich. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's a fair deal. <laughs> you guys are you talking about Mike Itkins? Now we. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. is that? Yeah, I don't even know who that is. You know who that is? I right. seen it in the message, but I was like, I don't know this guy. Hey, man, yeah, see, you got plenty of time to look shit up. Get a get a feel on what it is. I was driving. Yeah, for two and a half hours. Whatever. I, don't I had to drive the derby. <laughs> whatever. whatever. It back. was way earlier that I sent this shit. <laughs> Anyways, um, in the New York, is it New York? Yes. Yeah. Um, New York. So so uh, very progressive person. Uh, if he were here, then I would vote for him. So pretty much he uh, has, you know, uh, uh, he wants to propose something. All right, mm. okay. What, what, what all of us like, uh-huh. you know, sex. Yeah, all right. Much, yes. uh, apparently, know. except the nerds. Um, uh, we actually <laughs> like it. <laughs> we just can't get it. <laughs> but now you can. All right. So this dude wants to uh, legalize. Uh, uh, Oh, the sex work dude? Sex worker. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember yeah. now. You know, he's 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 very he's a pioneer, all right? Mm-hmm. Okay. This dude is so much of a pioneer and he believes so wholeheartedly hardly, hardly in but what he's doing. He actually put his sex tape on like, a Pornhub. Like a fucking G. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you ever see Hillary fucking? No. Ooh, you ever see no. Trump fucking? Mm. No. You ever see Joe Biden out there fucking? Mm? No, I no. Seen his son. He said what? <laughs> seen his son fucking. Uh, I bet you he got like sunspots on his dick. Who? Cool. <laughs> Joe <Jordan> Biden. Biden? <laughs> Possibly. That's, That's why they disgusting. call him Dark Brandon. Stupid. Because <laughs> his dick's covered in liver spots. <laughs> but yeah, man. You know, you you got this guy out here. Mm-hmm. Um I just think it's truly amazing. Like he I said. Imagined it. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> what? Nothing. Continue. No, no, no. no well, I actually, of course, I actually, your calculation. I actually wanted you guys to continue. Like, I'm out here like talking about. Well, I'm trying to get the backstory. Here's my political referendum. Mm-hmm. Whenever I run for office, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> based off of all the things that <clears throat> I want to have legalized, I'm gonna release a tape of me uh, fucking whilst what. Uh, injecting heroin and uh, also shooting craps all at the same time. I think you should. I'm going to be delivering some back shots. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you're going to do that, run as a libertarian. They will <laughs> definitely <laughs> like, feel you know, that. At that point, I'd have to fuck a child. Oh, yeah. 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 Wait, yeah. what? If I were to run yeah, as if a you libertarian. Have, if you, you want to be on brand with them. <laughs> they believe in that? They, um, they're suggestive about the like legal age because it's big government. Yeah, yeah, nah. Throw yeah. them away. Throw them away. <laughs> we need <laughs> another <laughs> Australia. Yeah. We can put them on it. All right, get them <laughs> yeah. the fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh, just keep the kids Ugh, away from that island. No, <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> but I mean, you know, if you if that's what you believe in, that is your 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 privilege. That is your right as an American to get out there. And, and make America pretty fucking cool, man. Yeah, I I I I, I do believe in the legalization of sex work. Yeah, yeah, me too. I think it should be. I mean, I think, why not? As long as it's regulated. As as I it's think regulated. you should just you know always have cameras in your house, and then randomly one of the time whoa. you have sex, it needs to just be put out there. Just whoa, get it whoa. done. Everybody gets to see one. 
It's mm-hmm. not a big deal. Calm man. down there, Zuckerberg. <laughs> Shut up. All right. <laughs> I Relax. I don't know. What, not... you wouldn't want your sex take leak? No. Why not? I don't even want to see myself doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We did have this. You said you don't fuck in front yeah. of a mirror. Well, you know, Ooh. The call the mirror. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> nah, I don't, don't want to see what face I make. I know it's not an attractive face. <laughs> I don't know. Man. Come on, man. You got you to gotta have confidence in yourself. Mm. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, we talked about this on that one episode. <laughs> How we be throwing him the alley oops and he just be like dragging himself through the mud. That's all good. I mean, you know, <laughs> I think if you went ahead and recorded yours and watched it, mm-hmm. you might be like, you, you might give yourself some pointers. Like, all right, instead of a stroke like that, you know, do that wide swing and then do it, you know? Now, here's what you look like. If you want to fix your orgasm face, mm-hmm. you strap a GoPro to the front of your head, but facing backwards. <laughs> 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 Wait, no. So the back of my head? No, no, no. Facing towards you. So that way you can see exactly what you look like in 4K mm, detail. You know what? Also with 180 like fish eye lines. Say, no, that, that, you get one of them? That, how you look like when you nut. That angle is so ugly. You just look like a floating head. <laughs> you know I saying? hate that angle. Yeah. That's that one where like, uh, you seen the videos with the people that'll like get that, that camera in their mouth. Yeah. 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 Do you one of them right there? Nah. Uh, fix your old face. So I hear teens. Oh, there's a new way to get high oh, nowadays. God. What is it? Teens are boiling flavored condoms and drinking the juices to get high. No, they're not. Because the chemicals inside flavored condoms, I guess, are broken down when boiled. No, they don't. I don't believe it. No. This, oh, yeah. what, like the Thai articles? No. This, this, we this you don't, you don't, you don't believe that? Old, uh, no. You don't believe that? No. You know, you know, it's, it just, you know, kids are always find. This is why we need to legalize drugs, man, so kids <laughs> stop drinking condoms. Like, what the, the fuck? Drugs. All of them. Like, what was it? Yes, Oregon? all the drugs. Oregon, That's they did like that two years ago. They're still good. Who the fuck is out here drinking condoms? I don't. Kids I don't. trying to get high. Where? Okay. Cite your cite your sources. <laughs> hey man, I heard on the radio. <laughs> I was imagine I, I, drinking I, I, a great I, condom, I, be a little spicy. It was a headline. Great his own condom. No, I'm just saying because he puts hot sauce in his. Oh, oh yeah. Be a little spicy. You don't believe that, Jonathan? No. You don't think kids are are? It doesn't exist. No. That sounds no. like a, somebody just put something out there so it's, it can yeah. become something that yeah. is not. Yeah. I think it's like, like, it's like when thing. it's like when five kids lick the toad and they're like, oh, this is a national problem. And all I mean, the kids yeah, are getting yeah, high off yeah, toad. Yeah, like Tide Pod shit or the pass out challenge. You know, yeah. people are doing it. First of all, I don't think kids are buying condoms, <laughs> <laughs> let alone boiling them. Probably not. They don't know how to work a stove. <laughs> right. They don't. That's ancient they technology. They know how to work a microwave. Mm, My son does, but we won't get into that. <laughs> First thing I have put in boiling condoms to get high. When flavored condoms are soaked in hot water, polyethylene from the condoms is released, resulting in a cocktail that can give you give off a high for that le- that lasts for ten to twelve hours at a time. I Dang. don't believe that shit. You say polyurethane? Yeah, you can just boil fucking COVID masks. Really? That's recycling. I got a fuck ton of them at home. I'll see y'all later. All right, guys, we're getting high this weekend. <laughs> I doubt I doubt People are like Really doing Dude, that This is this probably some, some, Yeah Somebody's yeah. trolling it's, it, well, it, I'm He just, should pulled it up It's like well, that I, Nyquist I could just be one person though Like I could put like, a, I could post an article On like the internet Nyquist And say somebody's chicken. doing something <laughs> Yeah like that That right there Nyquist, Nyquist. Nyquist. There's probably like Two people who did it Thought it was funny mm-hmm. And then some like Concerned parallel like, Oh my god well, and now it's, I'm just saying, I, I I just heard it on the radio. I gotta say, man, they're getting real inventive with this shit, though. Yeah. Oh, of course, you know what I mean. Yeah, because they say it on the radio, I mean, it's you know. Hey, man, yeah, we don't want to be Joe Rogan messenger. Now. I mean, we kind of are. No, nah, I mean, well, we're we're Click saying back. it probably didn't happen. We're 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 counting against that, but all right. In whatever TikTok video that they discovered this on, I'm sure the baby or little baby was playing. True, yeah. probably. You see so, the baby's recent show only sold like 200 tickets or some shit? Because he's canceled. <laughs> is he? What you gotta do? Yeah. yeah. I mean, but what are you just saying? Like his album is like number one. 
No, oh, that's a little baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, but like, he- hella people get about the babies <laughs> and still get people to listen to them. I think so what? Got, I said hella people get canceled and still get people to listen to them. Well, no, I don't think people really like him anyway. Like, his music just isn't good. <laughs> like, that too, he has to. the same flow. He, you know, that little baby mama drama. You know, people probably jumped off that wagon. That was that was the whole thing. And like, you know, she had the fucked up teeth and all that. Nah, that's, no, that's no. It was a uh, was that how he was just like put her on blast on IG Live and beat up her brother nah. in the bowling alley. That's rough, messy. So, I don't know. But we love it because we're America. That shit is so funny to me because I know that's what he's thinking too. He's like, oh, I got canceled. Yeah, I can't sell no tickets. Yeah. Meanwhile, like fucking what Jordan Peterson, fucking Charlie Kirk. Fucking Alex Jones is still making money. Like fucking like Donald Trump was president, goddammit. <laughs> you think you saying the F word one time is gonna make you fucking lose all your money? Yeah, why does yeah, why can't you just accept like, the, the fact that you're not hot no more? <laughs> he never was hot. I mean he was for not a minute. to me. He had that to one the public, song. Yeah. And that was it. And then he got on a Kanye track. It was like <laughs> Nobody mm-hmm. remembers that. You're talking about the Donda. Taking food for my daughters. Well, in the famous words of the baby, let's go. Well, that's more of a <laughs> Glorilla term now. Oh, that's right. She, right. she that, hijacked yeah. his shit and ran with it. I'm, cl- I'm trying to sh- close the show. <laughs> she should have said, let's glow. Ah. Dang. She Look missed an opportunity. Gorilla. Apparently, she's missing a lot of opportunities. Oh, sucks but. to suck. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, wow. All the, all, the, all the stuff that Kanye's been doing this week, we ain't talked about him on the show. I don't want to talk about Kanye ever it. again. Okay. Yeah. Ever again. There's one thing I do want to say about ah, that. shit. Mm-hmm. The whole thing about him talking about the Floyd family and then them suing him for like a, it was like 240 or oh, something. Oh, they're, they're suing him now? Win. Yeah. There is no reason for them to sue him. I'm going to just say it right. Like, like I, you know, obviously I don't really care about Kanye, but there ain't no reason for them to sue him. Why do you say that? Because for one, he was he was kind of just talking about like the- A documentary that thing. hasn't been released. Yeah. So he was talking about like what he saw in there. Mm-hmm. Um, he was stupid to say like he died from fentanyl. But mm-hmm. as far as like any kind of damages or whatnot, nah, he ain't incurring none. And then the fucked up part is like, uh, Kanye ended up donating like two million to the uh, to his daughters and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, look, there ain't really no reason to sue him. But I mean, if they they just gonna go through it, fine, whatever. But yeah, I, I, I thought that was a little bit sketch. Yeah. It's a lot different from the Alex Jones situation. With yeah. The Sandy Hook stuff. Right. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Now that one's different. You can I yeah. see. Fuck that nigga. I hope that he goes under. <laughs> he won't. He'll file for bankruptcy. He'll move around some assets. And well, he'll keep pushing it in court over and over again. Um, I mean, let's let's just all we can do is pray. Okay? Meanwhile, he'll be selling fucking supplements to. <laughs> well, the globalists don't want you to know. This will make your brain and your dick bigger at the same time. <laughs> but well, well, according <laughs> <laughs> technically. <laughs> What? Oh! Hashtag Hashtag Olympus has fallen. Stupid. <laughs> this has been the All Points Podcast. You've been checked in with the freshest crew. Uh, check out our YouTube for some videos and some soon to be shorts. Check out the uh, Instagram. Yeah. We need to we need to put some more stuff on there. True. I put my penis on there. And <laughs> go go check it out on the Instagram. But uh, yeah, like, scare, share, and subscribe. <laughs> no, I like, I like light skin. I like like scared. <laughs> like, I like scared. That, but it's Halloween. It's spooky. Ooh. But uh, my name is Kyle. I mean, y'all can win, but Jonathan the Great, Smith the West, A two. <laughs> Sam, make a slow news day. <laughs> <laughs> and we are out of here. Peace.